I am Dr. Shijab Kiri. I would like to explain few topics regarding surgical emergencies in pediatrics. The diagnosis of these cases gives such an importance in our clinical practice because when we misreach, it may lead to some complications or death of the patient. So first of all, I want to discuss about induced susception. Induced susception. So what is meant by induced susception? Induced susception is the telescoping of one segment of intestine into another segment or one loop of intestine swallows another loop of intestine. Mainly the large loop of intestine is swallows small loop of intestine. So we can illustrate like this. Suppose this is large loop of intestine and this is small loop of intestine. So this small loop of intestine is telescoping into large loop of intestine. So this is induced assumption. So the commonest variety of induced assumptions includes iliopolic and cecopolic. So as far as iliopolic is concerned, so we can draw like this. We know that this is colon and this is cecum and this is ileum. So in iliocolic induced assumption and this ileum is invaginated or telescoped into the colon. So this is iliocolic variety. Another complex variety is cecocolic. So this is colon and this is cecum. So this cecum is telescoped or invaginated into colon. So this is cecocolic. So these are the import, these are the commonest induced assumption, iliocolic and cecocolic. Now etiology. As far as etiology is concerned, induced assumption is of two types, primary and secondary. The primary induced assumption consists of 94th percentage. The majority is primary induced assumption and the cause is idiopathy. The secondary induced assumption consisting of 6 percentage. The cause includes surgical causes and medical causes. The surgical cause consists of Meckel's diverticulum and intestinal polyp etc. The medical cause consists of henoshonic purpura, lymphoma, leukemia and hemophilia etc. We are moving to clinical features of this condition. The main age group is affected is 6 months to 9 months of the age. The incidence rate 6 per thousand. The clinical features include the child will cry continuously due to abdominal pain and this cry is called incessant cry. And the child will also have abdominal distension, vomiting and bleeding per rectum. And the stool is red color jelly like. And this red color jelly like stool is important feature of this condition. And in some condition also having prolapse per rectum. So the clinical features mainly consisting of incessant cry, abdominal distension, vomiting, red color jelly stool and prolapse per rectum. We discussed the symptoms. Now we are moving to different signs of this condition. And this different signs can be detected by three ways. So first of all by clinical examination, second by USG or ultrasonography, and third by radiology or x-ray. So by clinical examination, we can see two signs. The first one is sign D dance sign. And the second one is sausage shaped mass. So in sign D dance sign, that means Due to the cecum is invaginated into colon, so there is a feeling of emptiness in the right iliac fossa. So this emptiness in the right iliac fossa is called sign D dance sign. On palpation of abdomen, we can feel like a sausage shaped mass because the large intestinal bubble swallows small intestinal loops. So we can feel like a sausage shaped mass on palpation. So in clinical examination, there are two signs, sign D dial signs and sausage shaped mass. In USG or ultrasonography, also having two signs, 
the science consisting of target science and pseudo kidney science target science means there's a bubble in bubble appearance and another sign is pseudo kidney sign so this cecum is telescoped into colon so ust is dictated like a pseudo kidney so that is called pseudo kidney sign so in ust there are two signs target signs and pseudo kidney sign by x ray or radiology this is contrast x ray so in barium meal the sign is called claw sign or pincer sign in barium merima the sign is called coiled spring appearance so in radiology there are two signs claw or pincer sign and coiled spring appearance finally we can discuss about management 6% of this condition will resolve spontaneously if does not various surgical methods are implemented the main complications include the recurrence rate is 6% and the mortality rate is 0.6% i hope you all understand thank you